Hmm. Freaky sats! What the heck? Okay, let's get under that thing ASAP. Ah, stop croaking. <laughs> so what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to Alien Isolation. So, goodness me, guys, you have told me this is the game you want to see me play. I'm not sure why, but oh my goodness me. The soundtrack just at the main menu alone sounds insane. This isn't going to be good. For me, at least. Clearly, this game is based in space, and I think it's like the horror surrounding, I guess, the alien species within the realm of the alien films. I don't know how this game is going to turn out, but you guys, as I said before, highly requested this. There's got to be something deeper to this, which makes you want to see it. I think of all the games I've seen, this one has probably been the most highly requested as well. I've seen so many comments of people asking me to play this game, which really does have me hyped, to be honest, because I've considered this many a times, and now I'm going to be giving this a shot. Thanks to you guys all commenting down below. So, you guys are responsible for this series, ultimately. We are not beating around the bush though for this one guys we are getting straight into this adventure let's see what the big hype is all about here i think this may be just like a loading sequence let's check this out anyway mm. you see this game already i'm noticing has like a really really dense soundtrack which is key for Final horror games man the commercial starship nostromo third officer reporting i guess this is us the maybe? other members of the crew kane lambert parker Brett. This ain't good. This really isn't good. Ash. I read that the, the little subtitle before. And Captain Dallas. She'd been finished reading that and um, dead. verdict bad. <coughs> really bad. Oh gosh. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. Yeah. Relying on luck right there. Goodness. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. The Nostromo. Ooh. Okay. Dude, there's something about, like, space and horror, which, when done well, is such a unique experience. This is going to be a really, really exciting experience, because the reviews for this game, they are flawless. Ripley. Here's the intro, anyway. So I guess that's us. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. So this is like an introduction to the characters, I guess. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. Mother? Why is that so important to us? A commercial vessel. I don't know why this is Anisadora so laggy, by the way, because... We recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Okay. Where? Zeta Reticula. Is that where we're headed? What did it tell you? Good point, what did it tell us? Know. Bruh. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's... Proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. All these big words, man, they're not going in my head, I'm telling you. Sebastopol's <laughs> a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. So it throws us in a scenario where... Hmm. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. You wanted to slot that one in right there, you could tell. Hmm. Is she gone in? Look, Ripley. Bro, he's sweating so much saying this, this to her. Like, serious. Come on, man. Chill. Desk, Jeez. I read the case history. It means something to her. Like you can tell clearly. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. To try and find her, I guess. You're still looking, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. I think we'll say yes. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Perhaps. Perhaps not, you know. Ah, and this is where it all begins. All right, let's see what this game is all about. What can go wrong? Seriously, if it's like a rescue mission. Or, well, actually, I can see the possibilities. There could be many ways this could go wrong. Let's not hypothesize right now, though. Let's get into this and see the scenario we're presented with. So, wait, what? We in like some kind of sleeper chair thing? Sleeper chair. Is that even a word? Probably not. Yeah, I think we must have been sleeping. All right, cool. Ripley. And we can use WSD, so standard controls. But like the cutscene seems to lag. But then when I get into the main game, everything is like super smooth. So, I mean, at least that's good. E to sign in. Okay, we pop our little key card in. And that's it. Objective updated. Explore the torrents. So, mm, I mean, so far, the only horror I could create about this thing is the claustrophobia. Because we're obviously out to space, and this is the only place we can go. All around this place. Get dressed. That's an objective as well. What's this in here? We stand in this? What is this? So, E to use. 
Press a button. It's like, oh, it's like a shower unit with the doors freaking open. Probably should have considered privacy as some form of, you know, uh, a, a measure because I'm pretty sure some people might be a bit self-conscious. Okay, so we're dressed. I love how you can see the feet as well as you're walking. It's like the small things that really start to add up. Use registration points to manually save your progress. So where was the registration point? This right here. So simply tap E, pops the card in, saving our game. That's a really unique system and very self-explanatory too. Cool. So that has been saved. Now let's proceed on. Actually, let's uh, check out this. Access the terminal. We got a freaking achievement for that apparently. So now we can read some stuff. Verlaine. You're on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The megacorps undercuts him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Seven stop all station. What a hole. Just cuss there. I hear Waylon Utani pay well. Good luck to you. If you can't beat them, right? Let's catch up when you are back. Blaine. Okay, cool. And that's the only one we've got for now. <laughs> I got way too into that reading section right now. <laughs> Damn, check out these suits. Goodness me, they're freaking epic. So, we can go either this way here or this way here. Let's just go to our right-hand side. I love how this place illuminates. Like, man, this is like a 2014 game. This is a game that is freaking aged well. Wow. It just looks crazy. Right, let's go through this door here, and I guess this is the first person we speak to. Taylor, good morning. Good morning to you. Or is that me? Good. I very much doubt it's morning either. I think I just morning to myself. I feel like death. Damn. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. What is hypersleep? You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Oh, it's like a long sleep. Okay. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. Mm. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's sleep. important we Take find on. out what happened. All right. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. Hmm. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I you crouch. Your it's mother okay. has been missing for 15 years and, and you... A long time. It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? I don't know, will we? Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Is that where I'll we gotta go? With him. Cool, so, objective completed, speak to Taylor. We got a boombox in here, I mean, come on, man. And, does it work? What's, what sort of frequencies we listening to here? No, that's, <clears throat> memes have infested. Another terminal right here, is it gonna be the same one? Now we've got a shared. So, this is like a Torrens manifest. Name, 7760 Torrens, M-Class Starship. Outbound and return transportation for Whalen yutani Retrieval Team to Sevastopol Station. Interstellar Communications Antenna, Long Haul Hypersleep Chamber. Commercial Passenger Cargo Ship, retrofitted with a row rig. Retains Operational Heavy Duty Tow Umbilical. Okay, not really sure what that means just yet. Let's go this way here. Yeah. Whoa, goodness me. Imagine working in this place, you would feel so claustrophobic, but... I guess it's just part of the job, like, you gotta get used to it somehow. So, wait, where the freak are? Perhaps this way here will lead us to Samuels? Let me just see. Okay, round in the corner, and there he is! Alright, cool. So, I mean, uh, Samuels, why is the, uh, why is the bed there, you know? Did you wake up early? Might sit there? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. Okay. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. A well-maintained ship. Good. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes. Okay. M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. Cool, I've man. i engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? Yes. She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing. Oh, it was. She's already talked. told us. She seems nervous. Yeah. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. Dude, She's I'd be so nervous as well. Though. Should help us with any legal issues. Traveling thousands of miles, like, into nowhere. That would be so freaking scary. Like, imagine that concept. Like, you're just All sailing in space. Whoop. Okay, cool. So, like hang on, where's the bridge? I shouldn't have paused. Alright, so, now we're gonna find the bridge, I suppose. But, like, the concept of sailing through space, like, traveling around the world is one thing, but when you're out in space, there is no end. Like, that is just such a weird concept. You try and sometimes pinpoint the end of space and what it looks like. I just don't know. I mean, they say it's always expanding, so there's gotta be an end, but what the freak lies there? Can it just be darkness? Because how's that an end, then? Because there's still stuff there. It's just, it's just such a weird, scary concept to think about, man. I think that's Jupiter. I don't know if that's the sun. I just assume it would be. Wait, where are we talking to? Or what are we doing? Where are we talking to? Nice one. Journey. Okay. The cool. is in very good order for an old M-class captain. Old? She was a wreck when I bought her. Jeez, man. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. That's good. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Ooh. station. Are we docking? I, I don't know, are we? Contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Cool. Good. Let's get this done. I want to check out this window. Routine. Wow. In and out. Crazy. Connor, how are we doing? 
SMG loaded and look, calibrated. Man. Approach vector locked. Wow, that's so awesome. So I can say hello. <laughs> Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing document? Uh, I guess so. Collect your briefing document. Collect briefing file. All right, we got that. So achievement unlocked. Awake. Whoa. Is this us traveling then? Whoa. Can that absolutely looks insane. Switch to monitors. Oh my gosh. Sevastopol Station. Wow. That's crazy, man. Is that damage? Look at point. Is it? Damage. Oh. Punch up seventy four. Tight angle. Oh gosh. Um. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. Well, goodness this is the me. This commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair registration number MSV7760 calling Sevastopol traffic control. This is where it's going to go downhill. On a Yutani bond. Oh, man. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We I can see this going bad. We permission to transfer the passengers port side over. That, I knew they'd get an... Oh. Serious situation. Oh man. Marshall, this is the Torrent. This now. is where things go bad. And because of the static, we don't know and we just go into it. Oh my gosh. Something's gone bad here, man. Something went down at this station. And we're gonna figure this one out. Calm seem pretty screwed up. Right. So I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. Alright, cool. Man, no, these freaking graphics are insane. Dude. 24 hours. You'll have heard right. from us by then. Huh. So we're gonna oh is that Extra. us? Or is that not us? Are we going in or not? Let's find out. I think so. I mean we've got to, right? Stand by. Let's see what's My going on. Doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. Yes, it is us going in, I think. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. <sighs> Perfectly safe, you say. I don't know. She's hyperventilating. She is not convinced by that statement whatsoever. Neither am I by the sounds of this place. Which, uh, ooh, man, these sounds. Hating this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Affirmative. This is so atmospheric. Like this is crazy. This is the most atmospheric game I think I've ever played. Wow. Look at that. That looks insane, man. This is going to be done so well. Look at that little freaking... Is that like... They call it a skywalk or something? What happened here? Good question. What did happen here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Tim. Oh, my God. Keep moving. Oh. Oh, she's going to panic too much. Taylor, Ripley, hold on. Oh, my God. It's going to split the wire, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my gosh. What about the other crew members? Samuel! Taylor! Respond! Anybody! Oh my gosh, man. It's just the thought of just floating forever. Oh, that's so horrible. That's gonna be the worst fate ever. Like, that is worse than anything. Drowning, whatever. Floating in space forever into nothingness. No one can ever hear you. That is such a claustrophobic idea. Mmm. Depressurizing, I guess. Ugh. Oh. Crap. This is not good. Alright. Ooh, there's something here already, I think. I don't know what it is. Crew members, maybe? Most likely not. Okay, something's going on here. Come on, let's get up. We can probably take the helmet off now that we're back in the uh, pressurized zone. I think, unless there's damage that kind of warps to outside. And this is it, we're in. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Find help? Oh, shoot, of course we gotta find help. Change? What does that mean? Change what? Is that just like a change of clothes? Maybe put our suit up? Yes, it is. So now we're free from our suit. I'm sure that thing was super heavy tuned. Do we have to put this thing back on? I don't think so. All right, now we have the option to run. Oh my gosh, use registration points to manually save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. Oh my God, even these guys are trying to give me some tension. Let's save our game. Save point done. Let's see what happened to this place. Free pull. Oh my God, I just don't feel well at all. Oh my gosh. Gasp. Yeah, a bit more than gasping. What the freak happened here? Yeah, I think so. I agree. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yes, indeed. What the freak do we do? We're going to have to turn that valve off somehow. Oh, wait, we can climb just through here. Oh, my gosh. It's just like a crawl vent space. Mm, kind of. It's, uh, it's enough to definitely cause some tension, right? Here, the ship is rocking. Whatever this thing is, a mothership, maybe? I don't know. This ain't good. Crawling through vents when all we're trying to do is drop off some cargo, I think. This could go much worse. 
That is a horrible way of opening, man. Ooh. And we're through. All right, let's get a freaking move on right here. We're looking for survivors. That door is locked. That way, that's not going to be passable. Okay, along here. Watch your oh my god, man. Really? I literally thought I'd done goofed already to the point of death. I mean, we're not far off at this rate, man. Come on. Now we're on the lower levels, clearly. What are we going to find down here? What's this here? Got a flare. Yeah, goddamn indeed, right? It will help. I don't think we need it to shit. Hold Q to open the radial inventory. So we got flare on number one, right? Now we've got it equipped to us, so... Hmm, what are we doing here? Maybe through here? Nice and slowly. I don't feel like I quite need anything. What the heck? Someone you always know uh, is working? What? I don't know what that means. Okay, well, that's good. Thanks, thanks for the reassurance that everyone's working and doing their job. Or something. Right? These doors got blocked up. This is not operational and probably hasn't been for a while. Uh, oh, man. The thing is about space sounds is that anything goes, right? You don't really know what would happen on a ship like this because it doesn't exist. Collect ethanol. Find blueprints to help you craft items from the components you collect. So we've got a flare and ethanol. How do we how do how do we pair this? Oh whoops. Okay, I've just activated the flare for some reason. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm actually headed out from here. Do we throw this maybe? Let me try and throw this. So into there. Will it set that on fire? Ha, huh, it doesn't. What we got in here? Charge pack bonding agent and flare. Okay, so we're gonna take all. I need to get used to pressing R then nice and quickly. So Q. I still need to understand this UI here. Lower luggage ramp. Okay, let's press that. Alright, here we go. So now things should get moving, I think. Or, oh, it's just that I was going to go back on myself. Okay, let's stand the freak up and let's get going. We've got a ladder here. What the freak does that say? Keep nothing? Does that say something? Something nothing. Anything with nothing is not good, you know? However, into the light, I will always take this opportunity any day. What is that sound? The radio? Okay, let's put that freak off, man. I don't want to listen to those meme musics again. Wow. Hello? Anyone here? I think you need to talk a little bit louder than that. Although maybe you know something's here that I don't. I think this is like a construction of the thing we're on right now, which one is freaking insane. <sighs> Let's keep this going. Forgotten. F you. Something went really bad here. This life for the rent. Use these terminals to update your map with unexplored areas. Low power. All right, there is a switch here. So let me try and press this. This looks like some kind of power source. All right, there we go. Handle has been dropped down again. And again, perhaps? Do we keep doing it? I guess it's like a charging system. And the button is on. So wait for it. Things are booting back up. Here we go. We've got a terminal right here. All right, we've got some audio and utility stuff. So kill the power. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Right. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're going to need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this is over. Waits up. Okay, that explains absolutely nothing, which i um, kind of fearful. We've got a personal thing here as well. So we moved our stash. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus. Do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry, no one ever goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. <laughs> There's a reference of something happening, but what? Why have I got my eye closed, by the way? Also, we're out of meds on low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future, Anna. So, 0340. We've got to use that code for something. Doesn't anything here work? I don't think so. Uh, find a way to restore power to the shutter. I did this before, but this didn't seem to be the source of power for this, at least. Just a small control panel. So perhaps... Is that a second door there? Something salvaged the place, though, man. Like, look at these wires here. Like, someone pulled that out. Hmm, never a good sign. So, baggage transit. Did we just come from here? Yes, we did. We came from this direction. So, there is another way just here. And we need the code, which is 0340. All right, here we go. So, we're now headed in. So, we need to find a way to restore power. Let me just see. What's this here? Oh, nothing we can interact with. We've got some scrap there. There was a medikit somewhere. All right, there it is. Nice. Blueprint collected. View in the radial menu. Ah, I see. So, we hover over it there. And then we can see in the side. So, press the left mouse button to build. Hold up a sec. So, we need to check out how we build the various stuff. So, if we click on this, click here to craft the item. So, it's saying what we need down here. We need to find various things to craft them. So, this here, we can actually craft it. So, I think I just did it. I think I crafted that. I'm not too sure. Uh, we've got some compound B as well. That was another thing we definitely needed. So, maybe there's going to be one more thing around here that we need. The SCJ injector, I think that was. So now let me go, go back over here. Let me see. So now these are all illuminated. So there we go. Okay, and click here to craft the item. So it's a fairly simplistic looking system. I don't think I crafted it though. There we go. All right, item constructed. So we just need to look out for various things then. That's kind of cool how it's combining like survival, like survival finding stuff alongside actual gameplay. That's very unique. I like that. 
Okay, so I just pressed a button there. It restored power to everything. So these terminals here have more use than what we first thought. Int what? Oh my god, dude! Here, here, here! What? Do we run to them? What? what? Where are they going? Okay, they came from this direction here. From 42. And they went over to this one here. Can we... It's locked. Did they not see us? We freaking restored power there. Hold on, let me check this little cabinet right here. So search all these. We got everything. I'm gonna take all again. So now I guess we gotta head up there. The freaking soundtrack for this game is gorgeous. Okay, this had its power restored. Security checkpoint. Let's go, I guess. But we know there's more survivors in here. We just don't know what the kind of source of panic is. Crouch under that. Don't trust it. What's a freaking ever? All right, here we go. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? That is not a reassuring sign, that rumbling right there. What? I mean, is this like a freaking colony? People lived here and worked or something? That is a scary, crazy concept. I think this is like a living quarters almost for people, which is so bizarre to think about. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is going on, man? Ooh. The torrents? Wait, where? Wait, what? The freaking ship we was in. Contact the Torrens. Dude, th are they leaving? Are they legit leaving without us? What the heck? The shutters are going... Who's controlling that? What? Something is really going bad here. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, this feels so bad. Really, it does. So what? Amusements? Let's try and go in here. Amusements. Okay, we've got something here. Can we contact them with this? Let's try this. we got to crank it a few times again. Power restored to the area, perhaps. Here we go. Okay, look for things that move. Okay, here we go. Everything is illuminated. That now has a light source coming from it. What? What is that dude saying? What is he saying? I don't know. Here? Yeah? What the freak is that? Like bouncing? I think it's like some windows. I thought I was like a living thing then, like a living alien organism or something. Another terminal here. All right, let's access this one. Pulling the plug. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red, and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers, and he reckons that they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around looking for another job. Sevastopol's finished. Time to move on, Harper. And shared. What is this? In the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sevastopol, nor ships available. The colonial marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly. What is Apollo? Apollo is the central AI that monitors and provides guidance for all the Siegsen working Joes on Sevastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station, so where you are, you know you're in safe hands. Okay then, that's good. Alright, let's check this. or play. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marshall Waits That's, finally called script? a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But what instead rumors? of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. Something's going a on here. Was fired, there was panic, mm -hmm. and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Whoa. Feels like we're on our own now. Holy shoot, something big went down here. What rumors, man? I think these rumors may be true. Guys, I've been running around for about 10 minutes. Sometimes I just don't think very logically with these. I, while saying that, I mean, I would never have expected all of a sudden a ventilation system to be our source out of this. Because it was saying, like, find power or something, so I just assumed one of the doors would open. But hey, we're making progress now. Let us continue on and see what happens next. What's with the banging upstairs? Someone playing the, uh, steel pan drums? That a, uh... Past time with these people? I, mean, I, I don't mind them. They're kind of soothing, I guess, to listen to. Is this still Phantoms? We made it to the other side. Okay, we're opening the vent. Let's climb out. I hate how it gives us the, like, external option to climb out. Like, it doesn't force us to. So, okay, here we go, man. This looks like another kind of cargo terminal place. It reminds me almost of, like, an airport. It's like the docking place. You come through here, security, etc. Right, yeah, I mean, that kind of summarizes it nicely. I mean, check out this. I don't even know what this thing is or where it came from. The freak is this thing? It said use. How do I use? Hold up, just here? Okay, so I think jumping is not a viable thing in this game. Okay, more scrap. Let's freaking get it. I'll take it. Hmm. Freak is that? What the heck? Okay, so Angel's walking along this thing here. I think, you know what, I'm gonna assume, because assuming the worst is most likely the best thing to do in this scenario. We should also run, you know? Also helps. Okay, let's get under that thing ASAP. Ah, stop croaking. Whoa. Ah, that's just a human. I should not be scared, although he ran from right to left. So I should also run to the left from something that is coming from the right. 
Maybe? What was he doing? Was he just like standing here like, uh, now I'm gonna run. Unless he hopped over here, which uh, probably was the other thing he did. But why would he jump over there, run that way, and then run back on himself? That's a freaking body bag. What? Okay, yeah, this place went... Okay, there... There's more than one body bag. There's not just one. There is a hecton, okay? Hecton measured in metric units means a lot, okay? Let's just go with that pretense. So, this is the only door we can go through. And this was through baggage area. And dead bodies are all littered there. Did someone bring something in bad? Is that what happened here? That's what it's telling me so far. Maybe that's what caused this place to go under. But saying that, it seems like people were rioting before. People weren't happy with the scenario they were put in, so... Huh. Let's just keep furthering this anyway. Yep, thank you for the nice little ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. I don't feel confident in it, though. Does not make me feel good. Maintenance jack required. I wonder if that's like a one time we get it, we kind of have access to it all. Do you know what this reminds me of? You know Resident Evil? When, like, they're on, like, the tank a bit or something, and you hear, like, the pipes moving and the zombies coming at them. It just reminds me of that. We've opened these doors. Wait, was this way viable before? I think we came from this way, actually. Yeah, wait, wait, did we? Yes, we did. Keep going this way. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Things are getting darker. Things are getting more kind of... Well, you know. <clears throat> not, not good. Let's just say that. Let's just keep moving. Through here, maybe? Okay, these doors are locked. You need a plasma torch, ion torch, and this one is kind of a jar. Is it enough for me to fit through? I guess not. Oh, he dead. He freaking dead. He shot himself, I think. Ooh, so if we got in there, we can get access to a weapon. What is that sound? What the heck is that sound? Am I going into the sound? What's wrong with me? I'm being so stupid. Okay, that illuminated- Oh! There! Come on! Ah! Right, let's go. Let's just get this over and done with. I know it's gonna freaking- it's gotta be the exit Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's gonna lead us up there. Get through the main door. Come on, let's go, man. Oh my gosh. Let's check this cabinet here, okay? Let's see what we got in here. Oh, hold to- why is it gonna ask us to hide, huh? Well, I'm saving my game before we do anything because of that. So thanks, game. You caused this save to happen. Let's check this place out here. It's like a big control panel room. Wait, what are these? Are these like... Okay, that's just wires and stuff. Nothing we can do in here, although... Hold up. Right. Got this. Turner, gotta deal with that wasted asshole again. What? This time, he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Where is it? He figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Okay. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. I see. Anyway. I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a sleep it off. Evidence lockup. And inside that, I guess we'll find the jack as well. Alright, let me try and go through here then. Alright, let me just see. Okay, this opened up automatically. What is this? Is this the evidence room? Hmm, not sure. I don't really think there's anything we can pick up in here either. Moving on, swiftly. Swiftly-ish, yeah. Fastest, fa fast. Whoa! What the freak did he do? I don't know if he killed himself right there or tried to fight something and died in the process. Probably the second one, though, you know? We know that riots and stuff happened, but we don't know why. I hate that opening mechanism. It makes me feel weird. I think it's like tracheophobia, like a fear of weird things in holes. Like, it just feels like it's gonna show me something like that, you know? So I don't have anything that I can break the door open with. I'm looking for the jack. Oh, I think this is gonna lead us around into the room. Yep, and the blood trail kind of assumes to me that someone else did the same. And uh, they died. They died. All right, let me take that, man. So the maintenance jack. Thank you very much kindly. Let go of that. Let, let the freak go. Get get off it! Gosh. Damn it. Yeah, come on, man. Seriously, clinging onto that, you're dead. The freak is your problem. Got a little kind of tape here. Let's play that. Hello? So we'll click the ID tag. Okay. You do? The highest authority, okay? Bro, this dude's drunk as freak. You can My hear you can hear it in his voice. Zachary Watson. Right? That's Watson. Okay. That? Yeah, got it. My complaint is this. Marshals. Okay. They should be protecting us. It's their job. How do I equip the, the little jack thing? Something's on this station with us, and no okay. one knows what it is. No one there knows. We go. They put braces on the doors. Right. Locked down. You know. Press A. To keep something out. It's so cold. What? I don't think this. How many times do I say the F word, bro? Like, you could have freaking s summarized that sentence in about four words. Because she said the F word, it was about 80. Why? Why that sound, huh? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Ooh. What is that? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hmm. Nothing. We're good. Right? The music's like being weird. Stop being so edgy. We're good. So we can break this door open, too. 
But I kind of want to go this way. I want to find the good stuff with that way. Okay, so this door right here, remove brace. Then we had to press... Le oh, okay. Here we go then. So, that worked. All right, we've got this door open. There's got to be something good in here. So don't think this route is mandatory to go. Although it may harbor at least something that we can take with us on our journey, perhaps. Look at this place. Freaking look at this place. It's insane. There's a flare. All right, we've got some compound B. We can build health packs with that. SCG injector as well. Okay, that's also another thing for the medikit, I believe. And then it's just scrap. I'm getting this down now. So then we can craft ourselves an item. All right, nice one. Ah, wait, does the cost of it go up each time? Scrap. Oh, it's just telling us how much we've got there. Right, so then how do we use a medikit? Because my health's kind of half. <laughs> got another tape here. Okay, let's play this one. Mm-hmm. Good. What? Jesus, man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Right? Every creak and... Just hurry the f please. Yeah, something's going on here. Dude! What is happen- Oh, gosh, we got a cutscene. This is not good. <gasps> okay. Stay still. Who is that? Okay. Okay. What is happened, man? Turn around. Is he, is he Scottish? I think he is. He's like, Dun -ring. Oh, okay, no, he's not. Sorry, man. He's taken that freaking jack from us, man. I'm Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley. Wait, is he Scottish? He might be. A ship. There's no ships here. There are now. Well, huh, that's good news. Okay. Those things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. Okay. I saw it. Why are you still pointing the gun at us? What, what's wrong with this guy? But lady, that's the least. Oh man, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Something's on this station. I will believe. The freaking name of the game tells me that I gotta believe. And to do a killer. You get it? What you? The frick's wrong? This dude has gone insane. Just gonna make it hard for her to believe him. What's your name? He's he's Axel. He's kinda Huh? I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Uh-huh. Can you help me find them? Bro, I don't think he's intent on helping. Because well, he seemed to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? You can get the freak off this place? Place on the ship. Okay. How did I know I can trust you? Well, we've got a freaking ship. I need to find comms. Right. I need to contact my ship. He's thinking about it. Okay, he trusts us already. That was quick. Maybe he's just on edge. Is your lucky day. Nah, man, this is your lucky day. Ooh. Let's go All right. Sweetheart. Seeks and comms is in the Cystex bio. It's quite okay. a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. All right. But watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there. Okay? All right. I think this dude then may actually help us now, and he might be our second pair of eyes, which is exactly what we need. But I'm going to leave this episode Come here, on, guys. I don't want to <clears> stick around here long. Are you guys talking on him? I'm going to keep this episode a little shorter than the length of the other ones I want to do when I cover this game. I hope you are enjoying this so far, guys. I mean, the demand for this was insane, as I said before. So I wanted to at least cover it for one part, see the response, and then judge how we're going to play the rest of the game. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.